And so begins what is probably a 100 episode training arc. <laughs> with failure. Starting with failure. Everybody wants a spike show. Everybody wants the spike. You can't always spike. This is a, this is very intense for 5.30 in the morning. Here comes a new character. Why do I get the feeling I'm gonna fall in love with them all? And then I'm gonna wanna join a volleyball team. <laughs> Episode 3, the formidable ally. Damn. You're in the big leagues now, kid. Yeah, he's, he's just never really got the fundamentals down. You gotta earn your place. Damn. Doesn't seem like he's the only one either. The senpai were kind of ignoring Sho the last episode in favor of him. Though it's possible that that was a clever tactic just to get him riled up, get him motivated. It's an interesting setup because he wants to be the star and the center of attention, but also the last person standing on the court, which means in order to get there, he's going to have to ease up the throttle a little bit. I mean, that might even be part of the show that in seeking glory in winning or something like that, he finds something much greater in this cast of lovable high school volleyball players. Priorities. <laughs> Morning volleyball. More important than all your classes. It's almost like he's barely played volleyball. <laughs> Show is motivated by spiking like Denji is motivated by boobs. Many roads, one path. That's really lonely. <laughs> At least he had friends. This is a teammate. Here is your teammate. He's gonna be your best friend one day. I mean, the truth is, is because he adores him. Yeah, but that goes both ways. Kageyama likely has the same thing going on. Oh, is he gonna hear the praise? Is he gonna hear the compliments? No, Kageyama is just a face on what he, what he wants. His dreams. Right, Kageyama is just a physical manifestation, a tangible idea of something much bigger. Who he wants to be. Oh, uh, you just wrote yourself into a corner there. <laughs> These senpai are so great at like seeing right through him, although he's about as hard to see through as Sar Saran Wrap. No one tell this kid about girls. <laughs> Shows the kind of kid that you notice. You notice and love for his passion. And it's oh, it's different. This time, this time, this time. Oh. Oh, there you go. Hell yeah. Even the mid cards are optimistic and inspiring. New first years. Why are we obscuring their faces? I mean, I feel like he'll be led on the team no matter what. This is all just a trial. How many times is he gonna hit get hit in the head with the ball this series? That never works. It never works when you want a nickname. I and mean, being given one is so much more meaningful and cool. Again. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm wondering, they have a kind of a weird vibe. It's sort of a strange introduction for them so far. There are enemies. First boss. Bosses. I have a feeling these two newcomers are going to be terrifying. I wonder if they'll end up joining or just being stepping stones for this particular arc. This is him mellowed out? Yeah. Maybe it was the loss. He took that really hard. He seems to hold himself up to a really high standard. And I'll bet someone like him took that as just total failure, even though he went really far. He's got a lot of weight on his shoulders, and I wonder where it comes from. Though wherever it's from, at this point, it's self-imposed. There they are. Damn, they're big. 
They came to taunt. And the reveal. That's just. Oh, they're rude. You're off the team. You're just stepping stones. Confirmed. He's a little bit taller than me. This poor kid is <laughs> becoming a running thing, everyone ignoring him completely in favor of Kageyama. Oh, that's really weird. He chokes under the pressure of being the best. Got him. Figured him out. But he's about as transparent as a cold stream. Oh, he's defending him. Oh, he wants attention. <laughs> this poor kid, man. He just wants to be acknowledged. He's just so invisible. It would be more interesting if they stuck around and weren't just mid-bosses or whatever. Oh no, I hope it that doesn't stick. I hope it's not shrimp. They're on the radar. And because these these upperclassmen care so much about what they're doing, this is gonna motivate them. They're earning their spot no matter what happens. Don't you kids have homework? <laughs> doesn't matter. We're doing volleyball all night. This is making me feel like I should be training for something physical. I don't know what. What am I doing sitting in a chair? Their only hope for higher education is a volleyball scholarship. That's a nice shot. Did he get up at sunrise again to practice or before sunrise? I think the only time I ever got up at the crack of dawn this consistently was when I was a stockbroker. That was sort of a crazy time because I had two other jobs on top of that and a girlfriend and a social life. I'm not sure how I did it. You know, it's kind of weird. I remember being shocked by the amount of sleep or how little sleep I needed. There have been a lot of times in my life where I could sleep 8, 10, 12, 14 hours and still feel exhausted. And there have been times where I've slept like three, four hours and felt great. And from that time period, I started to wonder if it wasn't not so much a physical thing, but a mental thing. You know, like if you're excited for the day and what you're doing, that goes a long way. It's sort of like how I never needed sleep on Christmas Eve as a kid or before a big play date. That's the energy I'm getting from show right now. It was not hard for him to get up this morning. This is where he wanted to be. It probably goes for a lot of them. <laughs> Literally knocked him to his knees. It's alright, you can sleep during math class. Very specific. You made the team already, guys. Good job. But let's pretend that the next battle has high stakes. Oh, he's been perfect for 15 minutes? That's insane. Now he's got it. I believe in Sho. Believe. You should go now. Yeah, go. Damn. Have we earned our place? Proved something today. I don't want to be hit in the face with balls anymore. This is what you want. No, he's got this. Believe. He's been waiting for this moment. He built up the there. Damn. So quick. Yeah, it was a big gesture in its way. Give him a word of praise and encouragement. There you go. There you go. And it only took three episodes. <laughs> I thought it was going to be a longer, longer thing. That's cool. We just moved right through that. We just blasted through that, that bond. Some shows it takes seasons. Okay, well. <laughs> Still rivalry. That's right. We have physics class for that. I want a rival. <laughs> I need a rival. <laughs> and something. Time to find a volleyball rival of my own. They send it to each other now. His hair is a little bit too detailed to be a one-time character. Someone put a lot of thought into him. 
The other guy's just sort of there. <laughs> kind of curious how this match is gonna go. I could see it going either way. I mean, I suspect they're gonna win, but I mean, I know if they lose, they're gonna get on the team anyway. And that could be a thing where it's like, we noticed your effort, you know? <laughs> you did so well. You guys got up at the crack of dawn and have done literally nothing but play volleyball at the expense of your studies and your grades and your potential future. Honestly, the two challengers are not that bad. They're being portrayed in this terrible light. They just kind of came and talked a little trash and left. <laughs> but yeah, it should be a fun match at least.